Oh, child B, ha, 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 ha. Look at your scalp. Look how greasy your scalp is. Oh. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for Life After 40. My name is Olivia. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I do pray that everybody is bearing up and doing their best to get through this pandemic together. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about the five main reasons why I decided to go natural. And by the way, guys, in case you are wondering, this is the hairstyle from my most recent video, which I will leave the links to below. I did this for myself, by myself, the first time ever cornrowing my hair from the back to the front, which I can tell you guys took a little bit of gymnastics to get my arms around, but I managed to do it in the end. So if you guys are interested in how I did this hairstyle, please click on the link below in the description box for that video, just to let you know that I did change the front, the U part bit a little bit, where I had the back half uh, originally braided backwards, I just turned them and braided them forwards and I obviously kept the front parts braided upwards as you can see here and then I just kind of made it into a mini side bang. I think that kind of suited the hairstyle better than the crisscross that I did in the video. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, so like I was saying, this video is all about the five main reasons why I became natural. So let's just get straight into it. So the first reason why I decided to go natural was just me being fed up of that whole curly perm, straight perm, texturizer cycle that I was kind of stuck in. I would go for the relaxer treatments and I was doing that for a number of years. And then I would shave my hair off and then I would switch to curly perms and I'd do that for a number of years. Then my hair would break, become dry, I would shave my hair off again and then I would go for the texturizer. And it was just that endless kind of treadmill of just one chemical kind of treatment to another and my hair just being constantly damaged that just made me think enough is enough I really do need to pull the ball by the horns as it were and just get get myself out of this whole thing you guys would know not so much now I think hairdressers have become much more attuned to their customers needs now but back in the day you would go to the hairdressers at nine o'clock and you would be still sitting there at six o'clock and it was just the norm it was the expectation that you were going to spend your entire day just waiting for your hair salon to get round to doing your hair and I just got fed up of being overlooked and almost disrespected in a way by our own community when it came to visiting the hair salon. I think that um, also what's helped with the hairdressing industry is that they've got a lot more competition now in terms of, you know, you could book a hairdresser before COVID happened on Instagram because you've seen her work on Instagram and you could either visit her or if she's a mobile hairdresser would come and visit you for you to do your hair in the comfort of your own home with a tight fixed scheduled appointment which is how we like it isn't it ladies so the second reason why I decided to go natural was because I was a WW what is a WW you ask a WW is a weave wearer okay I was a weave wearer and at the time my daughter was coming of age she was about 14 and I noticed that she was starting to refer to her hair as being difficult to manage and just problematic and I didn't like those words I didn't like how she was describing her hair but I felt like I was being and I was being a hypocrite because there was me adorning all these different kinds of weaves I was trying to communicate to her that her hair was beautiful meanwhile I was covering my hair up in what I felt now this is my personal viewpoint on it please do not take this as me saying this is true for every single person who wears a weave but in my case I wore them because it was the kind of hair that I saw in my eyes to be more sociably acceptable so I'm trying to tell her that her hair is beautiful meanwhile I'm covering up mine and we have the same hair she's a very intelligent child or she you know she's a very intelligent woman but also was a very intelligent child at the time and she could pick up that kind of energy that I was giving off that it wasn't quite matching up with my words either so I felt I have to do the right thing I have to show her if I really do believe and mean what I'm telling her then I need to be showing that in my actions so reason number three why I decided to go natural is representation I've always worked in children's services or childcare, but I decided to go into train to become a teacher 
and um, yeah representation matters you guys know that little girls and I'm particularly focusing my discussion today on little black girls little black girls of that age are extremely impressionable I mean, it's very rare for a child of that age to actually have relaxed hair. these girls come into my classroom as they do and they see me with my natural hair and instantly you can see that they can relate to me they have a role model somebody that they can see themselves in somebody who looks like them not just in skin color but also hair wise as well I, I think it's really important for little girls to be able to see themselves in grown-ups and have representations of themselves in their grown-ups who are caring for them so I'm going to tell you guys a quick story so I recently left the school that I was working at for six years but in the classroom that I taught before I left I had a little girl there there was only one little girl in my classroom who was a brown girl. The girls of that age, little girls like that, they kind of choose their friends based on their interests and you know who kind of likes the same things as they do which is understandable they're still trying to get to know themselves in that way and form bonds and friendships with each other so this particular little girl had four friends and they would all play together. Thumbs up to her mum because every day that this child was in my classroom her hair was immaculate and you know if you are a parent of a little brown girl that to keep your child's hair neat every single day when they're that young going to school full time is difficult because you do their hair in the mornings they come to school and by the time they leave school it's looking like a whole different hairdo okay you guys know exactly what I mean so this particular girl her hair would be immaculate day in day out even if it was a little bit rougher when she left school the next day guaranteed her mum would style her hair on point every single day and there was this particular day, I think the mum had probably put, and we've all done it, I've done it myself, you know, just put that little bit too much oil in the hair and so her scalp was particularly looking a bit overly shiny. So the friends picked up on it. I didn't actually notice it, to be honest. Her friends picked up on it. She was in a line and they just singled her out and said, let's call her child B. Oh, child B, ha, 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 ha. Look at your scalp. Look how greasy your scalp is. Oh, look, me immediately I just said to them look let me tell you something little B's hair is exactly the same as mine do you see we both have the same hair and in our community we need oils to help our hair to flourish so I actually think her hair is beautiful in fact I think all hair is beautiful okay but that's how we care for our hair so I don't want to hear anybody making fun that was the end of it I just put that whole thing to rest no more. As soon as I said that, I just saw her go from a child that was kind of looking down at the ground because her friends were taunting her. They were just being children and I know children say mean things on purpose to each other but I really do think they were saying this out of ignorance and I had to re-educate them and I did, trust me. But I just saw her just immediately just straighten up and kind of her head lifted and she just walked away from them, went to sit down and carried on doing her work that was set for her. And it was the way that she just kind of straightened up and walked away from that situation that made me realize and affirm to me why representation is so, so important. guys. Reason number four why I decided to go natural was basically just the cost of the weaves. Weaves are no cheap, especially if you are looking for that good, good hair in your weave. You've got to go and buy the hair. Then you've got to pay for the labor for somebody to actually install the weave. And it was just a lot on the pocket. I mean, to me, there is a huge difference in terms of expenditure, okay? It is no small numbers, guys. I mean, to get a decent weave, you are looking at 150 pounds upwards. Okay, that's no small amount. Women will fork out hundreds and hundreds of pounds just to have these weaves. And this video isn't about knocking people who wear weaves. I'm just talking about my experience and why I decided to stop wearing them. Plus, they were pulling out my edges like crazy. So, you know, that was more than enough reason to just think this is not for me. So the fifth and final reason, lovelies, why I decided to go natural was actually for health reasons. We all know that relaxers contain really harsh chemicals. In fact, they need to contain those harsh chemicals in order to successfully break down the bonds within the hair strand and straighten out our beautiful kinks so that you do get that straightened look at the end of the process. Okay, and even the most careful and skilled of hairdressers 
when they are applying relaxers to your hair it's inevitable some of that is going to find its way onto your scalp okay and you have to sit there for 10 or 15 minutes or however long it is for that relaxer to process and during that time some of those chemicals are going to seep into your scalp they're going to find their way through your skin and eventually into your bloodstream and over time you are you now drip feeding your system with chemicals and toxins that are not good and not good for your body and so I just felt that it was something that I had to stop doing. Some of us may also be aware that there has been some limited research, okay, it's important to say limited research around the connection between chemical relaxers and the incidence and the high prevalence of fibroids in black women. I have also been a sufferer of fibroids and had to have a hysterectomy a number of years ago now. For me, once I woke to the fact that there could be a possible link, that was another reason that I decided to just bow out of using chemical relaxers in my hair and I haven't regretted it I have been you know it hasn't been the easiest of journeys I'm not going to paint the natural hair journey as if it's an easy journey it isn't but the fact is we have a good strong community of people of women of men even that are deciding to go natural and have decided to go natural and have successfully been able to stay away from any kind of chemical harsh treatments and grown their hair in the process knowing that there are several people here especially on youtube who have similar kind of textures to you find somebody who has a similar texture to yours and who has successfully managed to care for their hair and grow their hair it doesn't have to be super long okay don't get hung up on following just people who have super long hair there are people who have all lengths of hair it's not about the length it's about the health of the hair at the end of the day guys so yeah those are my five reasons for going natural if you have found this video you know helpful or if you found it that you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up i do appreciate all of you supporting my channel especially those people who have been with me for a long time since my mineral rich days in fact and also a big huge welcome to anyone who is new as well thank you guys and yeah i will see you soon in the very next video bye for now oh by the way this is a smoothie i've got bananas in here i have got pineapple in here i've got raspberries in here i've got blueberry in here and i've also got my collagen powder my peptide powder in here too so yeah i'll see you guys soon in the next video bye for now